to Zavanash. Welcome to the second part of our journey where we look at the data that is being collected from the search engines that are on our websites, blogs, and our other online properties, and the tremendous benefits that can be gained from spending just a little bit of time analyzing the data that is being collected from those. The very first thing that we would do here is not only understand usage, what is going on in terms of site search, how many people are doing it, what are the keywords, but the first advanced question, the first delightful question you want to know is, where do people search? And that can be answered extremely easily. So um, as we all know, um, that most of us have lost control of what are the home pages of our websites are. We don't decide what the home page of our website is. Yahoo does, Google does, MSN does. With so many people starting at search engines, the search engines decide what the home page is. I go to a search engine, I type in a search term, the search engine will analyze oh, it's indexed and find the best page on your website that is most relevant to me and take me to that page directly bypassing the home page at all together. So what you want to know from this report is where are people searching? The clue that you're looking for is when people enter your website in the deeper pages, do they tend to use site search more? Or do they tend to use site search less? Ideally, if on the pages where people land, the content is re content that you've provided is relevant to the keyword that people had typed on the search engine, and there is an immediate connection, I will probably not use internal site search. I'm going to see the call to action that I was looking for. I'm going to click on it, buy, sell, lead, open a form, give you some information, uh, download white paper, what I want. I'm, I'm going to be on my way essentially. But what with this report we're trying to understand is when people come into our websites, are they using internal site search and where are they doing that? On what you see over here on the left hand side are all of the pages for this particular website that had 80,000 unique searches um, on 303 start pages. So 80,000 unique searches on 303 pages. I am looking for where do people search for and this is extremely useful information because I can go in and understand where people use search more, where people tend to search less. But still, while this seems sort of an advanced feature, it's actually basic. What gets more delightful is this particular view. I've simply added the other part of the screenshot. Exactly the same thing. Here are the start pages. Here are the start pages. And here are the number of unique search terms that are being typed in into each of those pages. Now on the home page, it's not surprising. Tons of people type in. That's not surprising. What I want to share with you is this delightful metric is search depth. Search depth actually presents to you and helps you understand the average number of pages that people viewed after searching on your website. 